What's up guys and welcome to a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's reaction video. As you guys know, every once in a while, we like to do a reaction video to a wide variety of FNAF VHS tapes that get uploaded all over YouTube. Now in today's video, we have a special one. Baddington just released a brand new VHS tape and we're going to be reacting to that one along with one of the other ones that I'm pretty sure we missed that he released earlier this year and uh, it's going to be a fun video. But of course, if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, let me know, show this video a ton of support and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see me react to next. I know there's a ton of them out there that I haven't seen, so be sure to let me know and while you're down there, be sure to get subscribed we are so close to 4 million subscribers anyways let's go ahead and start with the first tape so this one is called motion detected in cam 4 here we go i don't know if we've seen this we've watched quite a few so i honestly don't remember but let's see okay so you can hear children running around the only problem is it's nighttime there shouldn't be children running around Ooh. Ooh, that was children and an animatronic we heard stepping. Uh-oh. Oh, look, it's a little like uh, Bonnie. Yeah. Little Bonnie animatronic hanging out over there. What are you doing in there? Looking around, doing your thing. Breaking the cameras. Kind of rude. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this guy just causes chaos everywhere he goes. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, I definitely think I'd remember seeing that. That's the only problem with these VHS tapes is some they look, you know, a little similar. You know, they're all kind of take place in FNAF and in a pizzeria <laughs> with a VHS filter on them. <laughs> that's a cool party room, though. So he knows he's being watched, obviously. Oh, oh, he's in front of the camera. Okay, yeah, it's gonna turn on. We're gonna get jump scared. He's laughing at us. He knows he's about to kill us. Oh, oh, it's a face. That's actually creepy. That was a... Ooh. Okay, that was a good scare right there. I was not expecting... I was expecting... Oh, maybe we did see that. I remember this... I remember this music, the song. Oh my gosh. That's creepy. I got the goosebumps. I'm turning around, dude. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not hiding in the shadows. I don't have any shadows in my house. So good luck. No, we didn't. You're lying. You're lying! He didn't find a way inside! And look, I'm turned around right now! He's not inside my house! You're a liar! Okay, this guy's... He's doing a whole concert for us right now. This is kind of sweet. Dang, he's got the background instruments in there too? This kind of goes hard. And it ends right there. Okay. <laughs> hey, that was a little tune right there at the end. I don't mind that one at all. Alright, so that was the first tape. That was just like an older one that was like, hmm, I don't think you've ever seen this. Now, this is the new one, okay? This is called The Case of Edward Morris. And uh, let's give it a watch here. I heard this one's very scary, so it's on screen right now. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Here we go. Let's see. The following footage contains flashing lights, loud noises, and graphic imagery. Your discretion is advised. Wait, so this is like a movie? A movie within the FNAF universe? What? Oh... Oh, wait, remember this? That's where... Wasn't Springtrap against that gate in one of the other VHS films or something like that? Or maybe it's a different gate. Ooh. What animatronic was that? Something back there. Uh-oh. Oh, this looks really good. Ooh, okay, we got a withered Bonnie. Some kind of withered Bonnie. Looks like Freddy over here. Yeah. Oh, Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. Ooh, man, they look scary back there. I mean, behind all, like, the pixels and stuff. It's a very pixelated area. Okay. So that's the back room, but with the lights on, I guess. Or they took a photo. Looks like they're trying to, like, document it or something. Them being back there. Oh, wow. 
Those are creepy. I like how Chica has pants on. <laughs> Chica, you found some pants. Good for you. This is huge. Oh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> can't say you don't deserve death now after that one. You just threw him over like you. Wait, was someone just there? Wait, was there somebody on the corner right there? I think there was. Like somebody ran out. I'm going to have to go back. He knocked it over. He took a photo of it. He said, ha I got him. <laughs> photo. <laughs> this one's going in the scrapbook. Successfully knocked over Freddy. Well deserved. Ooh. It's weird that they think that little chain link gate is going to keep back an animatronic. I guess it's just to keep people out, right? Not them. Not the animatronics from escaping. So my guess is this guy broke in here. He's just trying to document what he found. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? That's Bonnie. It's pointing at something. What? Oh, see, that's never good. When an animatronic is trying to tell you something, listen to it. Just get out. It's trying to tell him to leave or look over there. Oh, this is a mistake. What's it pointing at? I don't know. What would you do in this situation? Like, do you... Stranger. Oh, danger. Stranger. Oh, stranger. stranger. No, I'm not going that way. Don't go where it's pointing. Unless it's trying to... Like, he's the... Maybe he's the stranger and it's trying to help him. Like, go that way. Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's time to run. Ooh. So now he's trying to get out. You got to go, my guy. You got. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Oh, he's hiding from it. Dude, it's quick, too. Oh, no. He dropped his camera and he's putting his hands up in the air, I guess, trying to surrender. Ooh. Oh, that is... Oh, that's creepy, man. That was awesome. So good. We shed our hidden smiles. What? Oh, my My watch heard me. Siri heard me and was trying to understand this. I don't know if the mic picked that up. A new fawn has come to play. Hmm. Our cries were not heard. Fawn could not stay. So they're talking about who, was, who just broke in right there? Or no empty box to shelter him. Wait, so are they trying to say that that guy broke in? They, he was trying to, he tried to get stuff into a suit, but there's no, no silver eyes to see through. So his soul or something didn't end up going inside an animatronic? Or I, I don't know. Run, little fawn. Before all hope disappears. I definitely want to hear your theories on this one in the comment section down below. I always love hearing what you guys think about these and how you interpret it. Run, little fawn. Run, little fawn, run. Run and don't look back. Are you going to see something creepy? The golden hair is here. Yeah, we know who that is. That... It was, oh, it was creepy in this one. Seeing him run like that and attack the camera. That was a good shot. Wait, is there something? No. What a weird tape, though. For someone to record an, oh. What is that? 15-year-old Edward Morris was found, oh, gone, inside the air vent at Freddy Fazbear's after complaints of an awful smell that flooded the pizzeria. Oh, that's awful. Edward Morris went missing after his friends dared him to hide in the building until the place was closed to gather evidence that the pizzeria was haunted. Oh my gosh. Though it isn't clear if Edward's family will be taking any legal action against the pizzeria, Fazbear Entertainment has stated that they are not responsible for Edward's death or the man seen wearing the yellow suit. 
Oh, come on. There's no way. He would definitely be held responsible. This is a public statement announcement to please be aware of the danger of being alone anywhere that you shouldn't be. And you can't be putting your... You can be putting your own life at risk. So be safe, be smart, and stay away from this man. I mean, there was a much better shot of him than that one. <laughs> but okay. There was a much clearer shot. But all right, yeah, use the one where he's like 30 feet away over there. Just a shadow. Looking like a shadow animatronic. So is that the end? Man, that's awful, though. What he did with the body? Put him inside an air vent. Or an air duct. Whatever you want to call it. Pretty wild. And that's where it ends. Oh, man. Okay, so real quick, though. So uh, as you guys can see on screen now, I have the little VHS tape up. Um, we're going to go ahead and mute it. And I want to go back to the part right here where he sees something, maybe? Oh, is that a... Wait, okay, so I'm assuming the children, like the ghost of the children, right there. See that on the edge, the corner at the end of the wall right there on the left side? Is that a person or... Oh, it is! Oh my god, look, see it move? Look, look, you see it at the end, the little white thing, and then look, it's gone. It turns the corner. So one of the children, I'm assuming, whoever's inside of Bonnie, was trying to warn this guy, like, hey, buddy, get out of here. You gotta go, like, you're gonna die if you stay here. He's still here roaming around. And uh, he ends up getting eaten after that. It was a crazy one, though. I want to go back to certain parts. So, so I'm assuming my way of interpreting this part is Bonnie was trying to tell him, like, hey, stranger up ahead, like, you know, go the other way, run, get out of here. Trying to, like, warn him, you know, this guy's right at the end of the hallway. You, you shouldn't be here. And then, of course, you know, he ended up running into him and dying. But, oh, my gosh, this whole sequence right here was crazy. Where he's hiding and just trying to figure out, like, where to go. And, of course, he ends up dying. Now, wait, what does it say? We shed our hidden smiles. Okay. And then it says, a new fawn has come to play. So, whenever they say fawn, I'm assuming like a new soul, like the kid's soul. And the fawn couldn't stay. No empty box to shelter him. So, they didn't have any extra suits to put the, the soul into. So, no silver eyes to see through. So, no, you know, seeing through the eyes of the animatronic endoskeleton or whatever you want to call it. You know, silver eyes, get it? I uh, like the, the book, duh. Hello, I've read that. Totally not lying. Uh, run little fawn. So yeah, his soul just before all hope disappears. I guess his soul just disappears. It just goes off and they call it the golden hair, which is obviously what, what ended up killing him. Now right here, it says 15 year old Edward Morris was found dead inside the air vent. I Because he, he wasn't in the air vent whenever he was getting chased. That means the golden hair, as they like to call it, uh, took his body and shoved him in there. But how did he not think anyone would see that or catch on to that and smell that? Because, of course, you know... Oh, wait, I just realized. Air vent at Freddy Fazbear's Juniors. Oh, so those are the Juniors animatronics. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, so that all makes sense then. After complaints of an awful smell that flooded the pizzeria. Man, that is so bad. That is crazy. So Edward Morris went missing after his friends dared him. So it's always a dare, though. They always get dared to, like, go inside a pizzeria and, and die, basically. <laughs> That's the one thing, like, okay, a dare, I would only do one if it was, like, not very obvious that this is a place where many people have died. Like, a lot of people go to this place and they always end up dying. Like, why would he take that dare? So, I mean, it, it's a rough situation. But, all right, guys, that was the tape. It was a very interesting one. I love ones where it, like, has a very unique story or, you know, a story to it and uh, a new location. And it, just everything about this was very cool. Uh, be sure to check it out. I'll link the description down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.